I'm here today to talk about my lung cancer. I have stage four uh, lung cancer. I was diagnosed in um, July of uh, 2011. I uh, was working around the house uh, with my wife, Gerilyn, and I uh, couldn't breathe. I was, had no energy, I couldn't catch my breath. I went to urgent care and some very nice young lady who's looked new to the medical profession checked me out, uh, did an x-ray, and kept me there for several hours, uh, even did a CT. And at some point in time, she told me that it, it could be cancer. Either it didn't register or I wasn't quite sure. It wasn't until I got home. And again, my, my, I gave the discharge papers to my wife and she has a clinical background, so she read through them. And she started to cry and says, this says you could have cancer. And so shortly thereafter, I had a mediastinectomy and a biopsy and I was found to have cancer. It was a shock, that's for sure. I went to an oncologist and uh, we discussed it and he told me that I, you know, probably should think about a, a bucket list and that, that sort of thing. And then he also suggested that I get a second opinion. My wife had done a lot of research on my behalf um, about uh, lung cancer and treatments and that thing. And she had found out about the LDK trial. It was an option that was not embraced. The option that was embraced and it was put to me the, the traditional uh, standard of care, the uh, chemotherapy and the radiation, was termed to me as a potentially curative path. So after I ran that course of treatment and it proved not to be uh, working, uh, they were very ready, if you will, to tell me that I needed to get my house in order and I had, you know, 13 months on the, on the average to live. And uh, we insisted that there be another uh, biopsy so that we could have, uh, see if I was eligible for uh, the ALK, the ALK inhibitor uh, markers. I had, I had that biopsy and lo and behold, I was. At that point in time, crizotinib, which is Alcori, had just become FDA approved. So they put me on that regimen. Uh, that worked for about four months, five, four or five months. Uh, when it, it lost its efficacy, uh, I went uh, to my original oncologist and he suggested that I contact Mass General Hospital and Alice Shaw, Dr. Alice Shaw in particular, as she was uh, leading ALK uh, inhibitor drugs trials. Was I skittish about a clinical trial? At that point in time, no, because I was kind of let, led to believe that that was my only option, to be honest with you. And so I said, okay, let's do it. Um, I will tell you now that I can't believe I had any kind of uh, reticence because it's been uh, almost a miracle trial. I have been stable for many, many months, and uh, you know, I'm uh, 23 months past what another institution told me would be my end, so I can't get better than that. I plan on being here for many, many years, and I feel that confident because my oncologist has told me that there are many drugs in the pipeline now. I would tell the folks that are doing the research, never give up. I mean, this is unbelievable what they've been able to do. We should urge the pharmaceutical companies to continue the research. We should help them whatever way we can because they're the ones that are doing it. Nobody else is developing these drugs. And in America, you know, we've, we've done a great job in developing drugs of all sorts. I feel confident they can, but there has to be uh, some support behind it. If they can spend billions for war. Can't we spend one billion on research?